Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be showing you a DIY on how to do this badass Sherlock beanie. It's so incredibly easy to do, so if you want to know how to do it, then let's go ahead and get started. You're going to need a plain black beanie, scissors, some kind of marking tool, gold embroidery floss, and an embroidery needle. The first thing you're going to do, well if you have it anyway, is remove any kind of extra embellishment or logo like this beanie has on here. Just use a seam ripper and rip off the sides or however else it's attached and get rid of that thing. Next, you want to find a good picture of Tutulum B to use as your reference before you go ahead and take your marking tool and start to sketch the design onto the front of your beanie. Although I'm using chalk here, I would highly recommend using something like a fabric marker or even a stencil instead. The chalk is difficult to see and as you embroider, the chalk fades away so it becomes difficult to kind of know where the stitches are supposed to go. My beanie turned out fine, but if you're not inclined to doing things freehand or not having a solid guide, then picking something else would probably be more beneficial for you. But once you're done with your outline, you should have something that looks like this. So I tried using this embroidery hoop thing because I thought that maybe it would help, but this thing was so fucking difficult and it didn't work at all. I was so mad at it that I just, I couldn't deal with it anymore. Once my rage subsided and I dealt with the fact that I spent money on something that I didn't even use, I went ahead and threaded my needle and started the embroidery process. My first attempt at this was not very successful. It just wasn't turning out the way that I wanted it to, so I ended up taking out the stitches that I already put in and then just starting over. This is really important to note because this kind of project takes a lot of time and a lot of patience and even if it's not working out the way that you want it to, just take your time, undo it, start over because the end product is going to be super badass. In total, this took me about four episodes of The Flash to complete, so I'm not going to be showing you all of that footage. Not only is that completely ridiculous and unnecessary, but my memory card filled up towards the end of this, so I wasn't able to anyway. Oh well. Once the flat number is completely stitched in, you're done. And so here is the final product and I am completely in love with it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, then please do give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see some more videos from me, then please do hit subscribe. Thank you again so much for watching and until next time. Bye-bye.